Scott and I are up this morning to uh, catch the sunrise. Again, have the whole island basically to ourselves. We learned to say you're still tent bound this morning. Sunrise is in about five more minutes. A little windy last night, not bad. But uh, it was really warm. Um, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna watch the sunrise and then make some coffee and some breakfast. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. This morning I'm going to do a uh, breakfast burrito. I've got some chorizo from a uh, farmer's cooperative, some cheddar cheese, some eggs, a tortilla, and a little bit of salsa. And uh, we may, if we decide to have a second, we might put some of the beans and rice from yesterday in one of them. So that's going to be breakfast this morning. and enjoy breakfast and um, I will catch you in a little while.
think that's a Frito Lay truck. It does have a differential. Does it? They've, yeah. they've converted a Frito Lay truck to four wheel drive. Don't let off the gas now. Get it. Sounds heck, like shit. Heck yeah. What's that on the back of it? Like an awning? The kitchen. All right, I've missed some footage here because I was having trouble with the GoPro, but I'll record it here on the iPad. This is, you're looking at the end of the road. Uh, we're trying to get, we were trying to get around the southern tip of the island here, um, but it's high tide. And there's a section of beach that you could drive on there. Some people have done it, but it's really soft. And I don't think I'm gonna take the chances with the tide. So we're gonna backtrack and try to find a different camp spot. I'll try to film some along the way on the iPad. Um, the best I can and uh, update it as we go. Down here at the southern tip of the island there is a uh, an old Coast Guard station. I think it's called the Guthrie uh, Coast Guard Station. Um, let me see if I can get the map. So we're down, you can probably see over there on the map, we're down at the very southern tip of the island. And now we're backtracking back to look for a campsite. This is the only paved roads on the island that are left over from this old Coast Guard Station. Um, it's actually cement. Um, like I said, it's the, uh, the closest thing you're going to find to civilization in a paved road is a Coast Guard station that was abandoned in, I think, the early 1920s, um, a long time ago. Uh, the buildings are really cool. I'll try to get some footage of those tomorrow. We might be able to see some of them here. Um, but I've never camped over here on this side of the island, so I'm curious to see what uh, we can find. You can see the lighthouse over there in the distance. Um, we drove by that not long ago. It's a few miles back up the beach. There's one of the old Coast Guard houses. It's probably the commander or commandant's uh, place. And then here's an old collapsed, looks like maybe a ship, uh, whatever a boathouse is called, maybe a boathouse um, here. We're on the, I guess you could call it the intercoastal side now. All right, that was a dead end out to a pier. So we're backtracking back. This is, uh, I guess it's, you call this a salt marsh. Um, and that's that old village. Again, those houses look beautiful, but they, uh, they've been abandoned since the, I'll have to read up and see, and I'll try to edit it into the video, but I think since the 20s is when this Coast Guard station was abandoned. And um, uh, let me see if I can flip the camera around. So here's some of the historic buildings. This is Cape Lookout. Oh, Cape Lookout. It wasn't Guthrie. It was Cape Lookout. Uh, Cape Lookout, historic. So this is like here. I think that's the look of it. That's an old fire station. Uh, that looks like maybe a schoolhouse or a church. And then most of these roads are, are sand. Um, there's a cabin or some sort of Some of them are probably personnel quarters and some of them are officers quarters um, by the look of them. Um, here's some really cool buildings. That's maybe like an old store. There's a house. This one, maybe I can read the sign. Life of a boathouse. So that's a boathouse there. And I don't know who mows this. Um, it's definitely maintained a little bit. Um, but there's nobody here. I don't know if they come over from the mainland to uh, uh, to mow this or what. Uh, but it's really pretty and kind of quaint. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place here, but I'm filming with my iPad. Um, that's a cool place. 
I'll try to maybe smooth this out and edit it down, but I also want to make sure that I get this for you because it's so cool. Anyway, I was saying, I guess they come over from the mainland to, uh, to mow this. Um, it's pretty recently mowed, it looks like, which is kind of crazy. We really don't have a destination in mind right now. We're just kind of exploring and trying to find a place to camp that's allowed. That's that house we were looking at from the other side, right there. So this is the back, the other side of it, where we were just at. And this might take us down to the water and a place to camp. Careful, this stuff is soft. I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second, see if I can find a spot. All right, we found a really nice spot here on the, I guess it's the intercoastal side, that uh, looks like it would be a fantastic campsite. And there are no signs saying that you can't camp, but we also want to be super respectful of uh, of the island, so we're not going to take any chances. We know we can camp safely back on the Atlantic side, so that's uh, that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to backtrack back, see if there's a spot we can get into the salt marsh. Um, if not, we'll have a great night on the beach. But uh, it's worth the exploration. It's not the destination; it's the journey, right? It's corny. Where this road goes. if this water is brackish or fresh water. Either way, Tundra's gonna have to have a serious freshwater bath when we get off this island. I'm actually glad we're getting to backtrack back this way because this, as we come down through this section earlier, I was trying to get the GoPro to work and was not having any luck and therefore I was not able to get any film of the lighthouse. So, here we go, a la lighthouse. That, to me, on the right-hand side there, that antenna looks like a weather station. It's going to be my guess. And then the lighthouse is right there, kind of dead center of the screen now. It's got a black and white diamond check uh, pattern painted on it, which is really cool. I guess each of these lighthouses have a different pattern painted on them so that the ship's captains could not just see the light but also identify the pattern. That's my work in theory. I'm not a maritime expert by any means. If somebody knows, comment down below. That'd be awesome. And there's the lighthouse. Hope that focus. I think I read somewhere that there was an original one in the 1820s and that that was replaced by this one in the 1850s and I don't recall if it's still functioning or not I'm trying to see if it's strobing right now and I haven't seen it um, but it's cool no matter what uh, you can actually climb up to the top of it there's a spiral staircase that goes all the way up to the top it's quite a quite a hike uh, to get up in it I think that's a pheasant. Alright, we're 
get a nice sunset off to uh, that side there. Last night I was set up with camp and enjoyed it. Still enjoying it. Uh, we're definitely just kind of out adventuring still though. Um, it's cool seeing that, uh, I think it was a grouse. Um, look, getting to a narrow part of the island here though um, that may give us an option to get close to the salt marshes. All right, gang, I think this is gonna be home for the night. It's just amazing to have this entire place to ourselves. And there's our sunset. There's the Tundi. I'm really liking these uh, open gull wings on the shell. I sat in there today, I had to make a couple calls, and you get just an amazing airflow and you're out of the sun. Solar panels putting out a lot of power out here too because there's no trees. Oh, that's cool. There's the moon. Sorry for the fast pan. And there's the sun. All right, another great day down. We didn't really cook much of a dinner, so I didn't film anything there. But uh, I did spend some a little bit of time after I got through fishing at about 9 p.m. tonight after dark, um, editing down the day one video. Um, and it turned out pretty good, I think. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, look forward to your comments down below. And um, I'll start working on day two and day three as I have time kind of between adventuring and as always, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you again in the morning for another um, day of exploring and adventuring around on this island.